Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is part 3 of the Chase Report of week 27. What you see in front of you is the content of a box I got from Tom's Mollo Cars uh, during that week. There's two things I'm not going to open up. This New York Police Department City Housing Chevrolet Caprice from 1990. That will be opened up in a New York video. And then the other one is one I already had. Um, I'll show you the one I had, this one. But if you look at the card just above the vehicle, the one I had says Mexico City, Mexico. So there's a wrong card in this one. I did not want to open up that one. That's why I have been postponing the um, New York City video. You see it's even got the New York City sticker, even though it's on a Mexico card. Uh, so I kind of wanted to grab a green machine or a opened up or damaged packaging version for cheap. But that didn't come and they sold out. So then I thought, well then I will have to uh, open up this one. But then they became available again, so I immediately ordered one. So I would not have to uh, juggle with that again. Or struggle with that question of opening it up or not, that uh, error one. So now I have a uh, proper version and a with the correct card, and uh, that will be opened up in the New York City video. So we got a row of uh, some station wagons and other stuff here. Estate Wagons Series Four, the 1971 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. So green base and rims, number 42 on the base. 2019 copyright so again as always the regular version the price of the regular version and then the price of the green machine if you want to look this one up online just google gl for green light then 29970 then you have the series and the dash c you have this particular model i have a couple of these uh, those on the on the right side here I have them as a green machine too, so they are on the parking lot. And I'll put this one uh, together so we can uh, look at four out of six green machines or chase pieces from this series. So the tailgate should open up. Yep, it does. Dirty, it seems. We got a uh, kind of a lime green interior. The color is called palm green metallic. It's got the trailer hitch, it's got the wood grain. So we got the bench seat in the front. Cool model. Then Hobby Shop Series 7. Got the 1955 Chevy 210 Townsman with vintage gas pump. Glad to have another color of the gas pump because I already had two of those yellow ones. So here's the other vehicles in the set. And then here's the uh, numbers. The 2019 copyright also. Gas pump, it's just a plastic piece, it's not die cast unfortunately. These fall over very easily, so it would have been better if they were die cast, but anyways. 4211 is the number on the base. So we got the white top, green body. Nice logo on the back. So in this case is the window piece that opens up. I'm going to have to grab something to show you that. A 
like that. So yeah, very nicely done. Works very well, very well. It's just kind of a difficult to open because it's kind of snug in there. Cool model. This one also neither a green machine or a opened up packaging. I just uh, this one was going to sell out soon, so I wanted it, so I grabbed it. The Julie Drivers Series One, 2019 copyright. Also, 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD, which I guess stands for heavy duty. So these have a plastic base because you know the bodies are very big and these are the bodies are all metal so gotta cut uh, cost somewhere. 5005 is the serial number. So of course we got jewelries in the back, what that's the uh, what the series is called, trailer hitch also. So, uh, we got this uh, what they call a service bed in the back. This uh, side view mirror is kind of crooked, it seems. Tinted windows, so not going to be able to see a lot of the interior. Nice one. Then we got a few um, buses, vans. The Volkswagen Samba bus and the Garbage Pail Kids Series 2. I don't know what these Garbage Pail Kids are, never heard of them before. So I just got it because it's a VW bus, the Type 2 T1. Every time I see one of those, I gotta grab it. 2020 copyright on this one. By the way, uh, since uh, apparently since 2019 they have these numbers on the card and they are also on the base of the vehicle 20 stands for the production year and then the 073 is kind of a following number so every vehicle in this series will have this production date on it it's not um, I can't figure out what the, the, the 73 means 73 it's not a it's not a week obviously it's not the day or the month uh, it's uh, just a kind of a following number um, so the lower the number the earlier in the year obviously what's well, kind of handy to see um, which cars belong to uh, the same set or series if you have them loose in your collection here's the numbers again So this is a metal base version because they also have the plastic base, base version of this Volkswagen bus. Uh, is there a number on here? Number 65 is a serial number. Kind of a hippie van style. Just the name on top kind of gives it away that it's from that series. Otherwise, it would have been better if they did not do that and just have the GPK on the license plate. Then you know, would have looked kind of cooler. Just as a hippie bus. These windows on top here are not uh, part of the window piece. They are painted. Then we get the 1978 Volkswagen Type 2 T2 bus from Little Miss Sunshine in the Hollywood series 22. 
2018 copyright but these are still coming in at uh, Tom's just got a new shipment Volkswagen official licensed product sticker here's the numbers This one is number 1061. So we got a green machine, green where it should be yellow in the regular version. Lens headlights on this one. Painted taillights. It's got some stickers and license plate from the movie, obviously. They have two versions of the T2, the one with the indicators above the headlights and the one with the indicators underneath the headlights. It's kind of cool they do the different ones. And then we got a raw metal chase, the 1968 Ford Club wagon in the Gulf livery. The running on empty series 10 2019 copyright. Number 116. So This would be a uh, kind of a darker blue where it's not painted and they have the typical golf blue that's running across it and then the orange on top. Nice light interior. You can see the details even on the seats. It's nice, uh, nicely detailed. And this one, the next one, I've been looking forward to for some time now since I knew they were releasing it. 1967 Austin Mini Cooper S 1275 Mark 1 from the Italian Job. Hollywood, um, this is not, oh yes, Hollywood, Hollywood Series 28, sorry. I uh, got some uh, info on that uh, movie. 2020 copyright. So, number 88 on the base. Let's get the sticker on the windshield or windscreen. Got the extra lights on the grill. Got a uh, two tone seats in the front. And even the door card is two tone. That is nice. Austin Cooper S on the back. Great Britain sticker. And of course, I brought out the Shuko one. To compare it to, and uh, just get my fingers out of the way as much as I can. Looks like they are the same size. The, um, the Shuko one seems to be a little bit wider because it's got the, uh, the fender flares. This is a very a late version of the Mini Cooper, one of the last ones produced, I think, it had these fender flares. They look a little bit wider. And the um, 67 is the one with the hinges on the outside of the door, where then uh, later versions had the hinges on the inside. 
Let's look at the real base. Yeah, that looks pretty spot on to me. Much smaller wheels on the green light, but again, the newer version would probably have a larger diameter rim. But yeah, very cool to have uh, these two red versions. Awesome. Then we got the 2020 Nissan 370Z Coupe or Z Coupe Tokyo Torque Series 8 2020 copyright So this is uh, in a deep blue pearl that is what the color is called Serial number 3597. So the rims on the regular version are black. Got the side view mirrors on this one. Don't see that very often on green light. And it's even got some silver paint on them. Some dirty fingerprints on it. I will wipe those off before I put these in my display cabinet. It's got the green exhaust, so the, a part of the base. Let's see what the interior looks like. Get the cup holder in the middle, it seems. A nice detailed uh, stick shift. And dashboard is nice too. Yeah, I like it. I'd like to see a lighter interior on this one to see the details a little bit better. As pointed out by uh, Champion GJK, these uh, white lights kind of look a little bit unrealistic. Maybe it would have been better if they were, were silver painted. Of course, as collectors, we prefer the lensed ones, but you know, at this, the price point these are at kind of have to uh, cut corners I guess and I, obviously on this darker blue color the white even uh, sticks out a little bit more but it's a very nice casting I love it and the last green light is the 2070 Ford GT my first example of the this uh, model by Greenlight Heritage, Heritage Racing Series 1 so it's a uh, 24 hour of Le Mans tribute if you want to read the text you can freeze the frame 2017 copyright So these older packages did not have the uh, production year on them. It's, uh, I think starting from 2018 they had it. Uh, sorry, 19. Well, not on all of them because I see this one, the New York one, doesn't seem to have it. But sometime during copyright 2019 they started doing that. So number 5772, so this is probably what the real car looks like, a completely flat underside for a, a low um, drag and uh, wind, um, you know, you get what I'm saying, that the wind can pass underneath the car very easily, and that's kind of what I mean, and the diffuser in the back. So this one has lensed taillights and lensed headlights. It's also a green machine, it's got the, the green roundel. It's kind of a metallic orange. 
maybe kind of a burnt orange. Here is hard to look at the small windows. And then we got the uh, the flying buttress. That's something I learned during uh, my live videos from my viewers. And that is what it's called. And uh, get some engine detail too. Very nice model. We get glad to finally have an example. Nice rims too. Oh yeah, by the way, these uh, have brake discs behind them and even the brake calipers are detailed. It's kind of hard to see but this one on the on the left side of the, the brake disc you can see the brake caliper and here it's on the, on the right side but it's kind of hard to uh, to show it. Very nice model. And then I got some uh, Para 64. As some of you know, I uh, limit myself to 10 euro per diecast car. So usually in normal situations these would be out of my reach because they are more expensive. But uh, they seem to have a issue with the base and the cars break loose from them. And that's why I was able to grab a couple of these for cheap. Normal price almost 12 euro and I got it for less than 5. But of course there is some damage. I'm not going to turn it around because it's loose in there. So it's got this uh, flimsy plastic over it to kind of protect the box. And then it's got a cardboard piece, so we can take a look at it now. Yadi Toys Limited, that's what the company is called. I don't know where they're from, maybe from Hong Kong. So licensing info, it's in Caracas Red. True 164 scale. Already removed the stickers on the side here, so Packaging wise, there's a few layers of them to remove, but then they should have done a better base and maybe less intricate packaging. That way they would not have come loose. So as you can see here, there's a side view mirror laying on the on the base here. So these things come off. For some reason and then the car moves around and hits the acrylic cover so obviously it's the uh, 3000 GT or uh, the GTO as it was called in some areas in the world by Mitsubishi it's also got some kind of a complicated system for the for the um, to attach it to the base I can turn it with my finger but it's like uh, what is that is that a is that for a Chinese screwdriver or what that seems very very odd I have nothing that can uh, that fits that to open it up and here you got this uh, t-shaped thing that goes into the base they're going to have to look at that because that is not that is not an okay way of uh, doing things. So um, these have a plastic base. Authentic rims. It rolls, but you know, not very convincing. And the um, I don't know if this is because it was loose in there or what, but these, you see, these rubber tires, they're kind of loose on there, on the rims. It's not, it doesn't feel very quality-like, I must say. You can see the edges of the, of the rims there. They're very extremely soft tires, they have no thread on them. 
so not very detailed. Paint wise, it looks pretty much okay. So you get lensed headlights with the red piece underneath. I'm guessing that would be true to the ve real vehicle. Got the side light here, the Mitsubishi logo. Unfortunately, the fog lights in the bumper are not painted, nor are the grills, so it's lacking a little bit in detail, if you ask me. So here we got the base of the broken off mirror. Details on the inside are pretty okay. Looks kind of good, it's kind of hard to uh, look in there. Black interior again. In the back we get the lensed taillights, get the 3000 GT name. Got even some detail on the on the spoiler for the third brake light it seems. That's nice. But uh, also disappointing here, the exhausts that are part of the base do not get a dab of silver paint so that's also kind of I mean, that could have been better. The side mirror gets a reflective piece for the mirror. That's cool. Still, it really looks kind of accurate. Yeah. All in all, no, not bad, but it's lacking some detail, you know, and for the price point they are at. This should have at least more tempos in the bumpers and on the exhaust because you know they do have a plastic base so but they have lens lights front and back that's good too and maybe if they don't change their bases they should have the, the rubber side mirrors like Mini GT does that way at least you don't get that problem and also the this wheel is a little bit bent here, so uh, these two, yeah, they're all a bit crooked on there. If you if you turn them, you see them wiggling all over the place. So yeah, but I, I get it. it's probably due to the fact that they uh, that it was bumping around in the box. It's also got the color variation. So this is a Panama Green Mika. So here we got both mirrors that have come off and they're already falling on the parking lot here. So this is a red one and then should have another green one here but Seems like there's only one on here. Don't know where it went. The other one. one seems to have a little bit damage here on the back sorry not in the screen I don't know what that is if that is from bumping around or just oh, there's just some glue on there okay it's got some glue on the bumper now I'm starting to doubt whether the this spot here on the spoiler is actually a detail for the third brake light or not. So the other one is, was red, but this is now just green. So, because the third brake light is actually just underneath here, I think, in this uh, this area. So it should have a dab of paint here, and I think this is just from casting the plastic uh, spoiler. Just a residue, or is it metal? Oh, it's a metal spoiler. Sorry. It's a metal spoiler, but I don't know why there's a both of them some kind of an impurity on this. 
So yeah, they seem to be a little bit sloppy. Again, same soft rubber tires, but the fitment on the rims seems a little bit better here, and they also are not that, that wonky, I think, as the other one is. It's a little bit better. So you have the green background underneath the headlights. And we get a red Mitsubishi logo, where the other one was kind of blackish or grayish I think but it's a nice model all in all and these two were a little bit more expensive because they are more expensive uh, normal versions so a little bit more expensive uh, and this um, price down damaged vehicle version so this is the Liberty, Liberty Walk BMW i8 in black so color does not have a special name or something I kind of would have thought the uh, the wing on the back would have broken off, but still there, surprisingly. Again, no thread on the rubber tires. They kind of roll difficult. These. Yeah. So the um, side view mirrors are still hanging on the vehicle and the loose so again lensed headlights BMW logo it's got the uh, Liberty Walk logo here on the front fender this lip is part of the plastic base you can see it kind of kind of flexes then uh, there's some matte black paint on the, some part of the bumper and on the, the kidneys. There's no grill detail in the kidneys. I assume on the real vehicle it still has that. I don't think it's uh, closed up like that on the real one. It does have these kind of hair. Dividers thing here. I don't know what these are called. Rims are nice in gold. Lens tail lights, so these are nice. Got a kind of a special shape to them. This is this red light is painted here, but looks very good. Seems to have some uh, rub damage here on the fender. Oh, it rubs off. It seems okay. That's good. That will that will clean off. Yeah, I think the paint is uh, pretty good quality. After a, a little buffing, it will, uh, it will be okay, I think. Feels heavier than the Mitsubishi's. And then the last one 
is in peppermint green. So this one, the, the base piece has completely come off and it's just uh, loose in the box. So we've got one mirror here. We got that strange metal thing to hold the base. This one seems to roll a little bit better. Maybe not so much. So black rims on this one. Again, the fitment of the tires on the rims is kind of sloppy. Still has a cup holder. Yeah, the interior seems to be nicely detailed. So basically, pretty much the same as the black one in details. It's got some uh, glue residue here too, it seems, and some impurity in the paint here. This is the first one we actually see with some little paint issue. Some dirt here on the side, also glue. So yeah, they're a bit sloppy. Um, don't know if I would, would be happy with that if I would have paid full price, but for the money I paid, I ha I'm happy with them. I will glue these uh, Mirrors back on. Got me some uh, some glue here. So four in them. So one for each car. No, I'm just kidding. I only need a tiny little bit of that, of course, but it's drying very quickly. So that's what you need if you want to glue on mirrors again, obviously. Because usually I, I use tacky glue, but uh, that takes a long time to dry, but you can adjust it if it's not uh, set right. That's not going to be possible this in this case. So I'm going to put them on the parking lot too. Kind of forgot that. And uh, look at the parking lot to finish off. So I'm cutting out um, the State Wagons Series 4 with the other green machines I have. So we got the 1980 Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park in dark chamois metallic with wood grain. First one here. Then we got the 1976 Pontiac Grand Le Mans Safari Wagon in red. Then we got the 1977 Pontiac Le Mans Safari Wagon in Glacier Blue with wood grain, but obviously it's in a green machine green, this one. Then we got the one I just uh, showed in the video. The other station wagon, here's the two minis. Kind of take up almost the same space, I guess, as the um, Silverati was, would take up on a spot. Here we got the Ford Club Wagons, so this is the one I just showed and these are previous ones I got. So some early releases and a um, bare metal chase also. And then we go to the, uh, the rest of the green lights, Silverado. It's kind of too big for one of these parking spots and we got the Volkswagen buses. The Nissan, and the Ford GT and then we got the BMWs. And the Mitsubishi's. So that's it for this video. I thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.